Right guys, welcome to this tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to paint flesh and I'm going to use one of my uh, Sons of Beomat Mega Gargans to show you. Uh, we start, of course, by airbrushing. Um, the reason I airbrush is because of the such large areas. If you want to use a brush to do this uh, on normal like miniature sized faces or models, that's fine. For the purpose of the Sons of Beomat models, they are gigantic and it helps get a very even coat on something so big. So you can see here I'm using Bugman's Glow and I'm going to be covering the entire model um, everywhere that there is skin. Uh, I also do all of the accessories um, and extra hands and arms and faces as well. Get a nice coat on there, obviously going over each part two or three times to make sure you get a nice even coat. It is a very big model and it does take quite a lot uh, to cover. Uh, and as you can see, I've used gray primer in this instance. So the next step, I have mixed some Cadian Flesh Tone, uh, about 50-50 mix in with the Bugman's Glow. Uh, I left the Bugman's Glow in the bottom of my airbrush uh, and then I've mixed the Cadian Flesh Tone in. And now I'm just going back over the tops of the uh, pieces just creating that top down effect so you'll notice i'm not doing all of the hands here i'm only spraying the tops and it gives that natural gradient uh, or zenith highlight on all of the parts there And then we get to the body and again with this I'll be covering all of the highest areas leaving the recesses so across the stomach here you can see I'm lightening it up quite a, lit, uh, a lot uh, across the, the pecs or man boobs uh, across the shoulder plates um, and, and across around the sides of the stomachs um, the knees and the thighs as well as the arms I'll start to work on just the raised muscles see here I'm just covering each of the muscles uh, and you can really leave that recess in there uh, for the shading in particular there across the top of the knee and I just work around the whole model highlighting the, the highest areas of each of the muscles Okay, next up we are going to wash it with Reikland Flesh Shade. Uh, Reikland Flesh Shade is a very, very strong colour. Uh, you can see here I'm mainly painting it in all of the recesses, uh, in particular the highest uh, or lowest shaded areas uh, in all the creases and everything. I'm not covering the entire model, but what I will do is once I've took most of the wash off my brush from going in the recesses like this, uh, I'll then start to just spread it out a little bit across uh, the flat surfaces so that it's not as stark a contrast um, between the two colours. Now that it's dry, you can see that there is um, quite a lot of blending on there and it's quite soft. This time I am using pure Cadian Flesh Tone uh, and I'm just going to start highlighting the tops of the muscles again, like we did with the first quarter of it. But this time, because you've got that little bit extra shading in the recesses from the right Reikland Flesh Shade, uh, it really, really helps define those muscles a lot more. And where the wash is a little bit softer on the more raised areas, going very light with the airbrush just helps blend it in and you'll notice this more when I go across the stomach. So I'll do this with all of the extra parts and the rest of the entire model. Obviously it does take quite a while to cover the whole model. Uh, you've got all the feet, the legs, the chest, the back uh, and of course both arms to do as well. Thank you. 
and once it's dry it's done then you can start hinting in all the extra details on the models uh, these are my three gargans this one here on the left i did with a uh, a couple of lighter tones so i actually started the basis cadian flesh tone and worked up the kislev flesh the one in the middle is the one that we've done from the video uh, and then this one i did with vallejo paints uh, i used dwarven flesh uh, and leather brown uh, as well as elven flesh to do this one but again i used right club flesh shade uh, i'm not a fan of painting skin but i am quite happy with those uh, all of the extra little pieces uh, I did in exactly the same way so they were all washed uh, and I did the top down with the Cadian flesh tone this is for the middle guy and as you can see there once it's on because I've done all of the parts with the same colors and I've done that top down in the same effect it all ties in and I'm super super happy uh, with this skin tone so I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching we'll see you again very soon